Hi everyone, so wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with this uh, kit project. Sorry, it's, I've delayed the release of the tutorial, but I figured I'd give you some updates on uh, what I'm doing now. Uh, since I released the original prototype, I've made some changes to the PCB board, mainly added a uh, on switch, power on and off switch, before I didn't have that, and I reduced uh, components that weren't really necessary to get this to work. Um, so what I want to do today is do a quick overview of what's on this board and what you'll need to buy in order to get this going. So let's take a look at all the individual pieces. All right, so let's take a look at the RP2040 Plus um, microcontroller I'm using. This is made by Waveshare. Uh, the reason I chose this particular microcontroller over the regular Raspberry Pi Pico is that this uh, RP2040 Plus has 4 megabytes of flash memory compared to 2 megabytes of memory of the on the regular Pico. So um, the reason we need more memory is to be able to store all the MP3 files uh, that are needed for Kit to speak. Uh, in addition to that, a couple other boards you'll need. Um, this is a DAC, basically a converting a digital signal to analog. And the reason we need this, because the MP3 files are in digital format, we need to convert those into analog so that way the LED uh, lights for a kit will function. It will not; ex they only accept analog signals. They will not accept digital signals. Um, this other component here is an amplifier. So this is what we need to amplify Kit's voice. Uh, so these are other couple other major components uh, that we'll need to build kit. So here we see the LM3915 LED driver. This basically takes the signal, the audio signal from the microcontroller and converts it to LEDs. Um, so this is what drives the kit voice box. Along with that, we see a... Um, variable resistor this will allow you to adjust how powerful the leds will be over here um, we see the jack for the 12 volt input uh, a capacitor and as i mentioned before this cable here is for the power switch now this bank of transistors and resistors basically allow us to amplify the led signal uh, from the led driver from 10 LEDs to 60. As you know, uh, Kit's uh, voice box has 60 LEDs, at least for this project. So we need these to help power that. Uh, besides that, we see a power converter. This uh, chip actually converts 3.3 uh, volts down to 1.8 volts. Um, this will be powering the PDM mic, which I will show in a moment. Uh, along with that, we see a couple of capacitors to uh, control the uh, the flow of the current, make sure it's nice and clean. Um, the reason we're using this chip, for whatever reason, I had an issue powering the PDM mic using 3.3 volts, even though it's designed for 3.3 volts. Uh, it wasn't getting the correct reading, so bringing it down to 1.8 makes it work correctly. What we see here now is a trackle power converter. Um, Basically what this unit does, it converts 12 volts into five volts. Uh, the reason we need that is because we just wanna use one power source and because the microcontroller requires five volts, this will basically convert 12 volts to five volts for the microcontroller and we will still have 12 volt power available for the LED lights. Okay, a couple more. Uh, components I want to talk about real quick. This is the PDM mic. This is basically what will sense voice when speaking to Kit. Now because we are using a microcontroller, it doesn't have enough power to actually recognize voice commands. Um, and actually we would require a lot more work. Basically uh, this design will allow you to have Kit listen to the volume of your voice and based on how loud you speak to him, uh, he'll he will respond with certain responses. Um, so in a later video, I'll talk about more on how that works. Uh, a couple of last things I want to show you guys. Uh, here's a simple uh, speaker that we're using. This will be more than enough to power kit and uh, or to hear kit. And lastly, 
this is the IR sensor. This is the unit we'll use to determine when you're in front of Kit. He will know you're there and he will interact with you. Uh, if there's no one in front of Kit, Kit will not say anything. And here we have the Kit LED board. Basically, this has uh, Kit's voice box along with additional LEDs uh, to power some of the indicators you see on his voice box in the, on the TV show. Um, so all of these are RGB LEDs. Um, as you can see, each of them have a capacitor. Uh, capacitors are there um, to make sure the flow of power is clean. Um, pretty basic uh, design on the back. We have some resistors that will control the um, the illumination of the LED voice box. And then we have some uh, pins here to control or sorry to connect this uh, board to the main driver board. So let's put it all together and see how it works. Hey, Kit, should I order a pizza? You again? I don't follow your logic. I think so. Hey, Kit, will it rain tonight? It's good to hear your voice. How are you feeling? Tell me about it. In a word, no. Hey, Kit, tell me something funny. Thanks, Kit. Well, guys, there you have it. I'll go ahead and leave links for the PCB files and the hardware needed in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those as well. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And for the next video, I will talk about software and the programming needed to get this working. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.